Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I've got a fantastic episode for you guys lined up here today, and it's not the conventional taking a graphics card, chunking it into my gaming PC, and benchmarking it. No, I've got something a bit different for you guys today, and you don't want to miss it. So I'm very excited on today's episode. I'll be taking this GTX 570 that is 12 years old today, I believe. I think it's 12 years old. And I will be testing this, benchmarking it to its limits, full graphics, ultra, on the games that it actually can run. And then afterwards, cleaning it, you know, taking it apart, cleaning all the components and seeing if I can get a better result afterwards. The reason why I want to do this is I want to see if cleaning a 12-year-old graphics card can actually improve your gameplay or your frames a second and then you might be able to make an educated guess in the near future is it actually worth it to clean your own graphics card now i'll be using some extremely good thermal paste like i've mentioned before in previous videos so this is a gtx 570 benchmarking and to the full running a couple of stress tests documenting the temperatures before and after and running the same games before and after on the same settings. Now I'm going to run the games on Ultra. I'm going to try and squeeze out DX12 out of this card. As I believe this is DX12 compatible. And I'm just going to see what happens. It might fail, but it might work. What I'm hoping to see is before and after of this benchmark. I want to see an improvement on the frames per second. Or at least a few degrees drop in the temperatures. So let's get to it. What a fantastic episode guys this was extremely fun to make i apologize the part where i reassembled it and added new thermal paste didn't record sadly i only noticed that after i edited the movie now in conclusion the 570 is still a fantastic card but bear in mind this is 12 years old hardware so don't expect to run every single game at maximum i could push the games fairly high except for tomb raider shout out to tomb raider which is a 2019 title and it's a quite a demanding title but that being said, prior to cleaning this graphics card, as you can see from the benchmarks, it ran quite hot, 70 to 75 degrees Celsius. After the cleaning, I got this temperature to drop to 50 to 55, give or take a few. But I didn't see a frames per second improvement. So that would tell me this card did not thermal throttle, so it's still far below its maximum threshold, right? The only way I could get this card running up to an acceptable spec i would say anything above 30 frames a second on low on shadow of the tomb raider um, but i mean like saints road the third remastered that seemed to run either or 
with or without overclocking, you could still play it fairly good. So it was prior to overclocking 25, after overclocking 40, you guys get the point. I had to overclock the core to 1,876 megahertz, and I had to overclock the memory to 2,200 megahertz. So it's quite a, it's quite an overclock. But that being said, if you look at the benchmarks, it's even still below the temperature of before cleaning. So you can even push this card harder if you really want to. Do keep in mind when you overclock, it's more power draw, but however, this card still is able to handle massive overclocking after the clean and keep its temperatures. Now, guys, this was fun. I really do love this. I would like to ask if you have not done so already, please remember to like and subscribe if you like my videos. Give it a thumbs down if you don't. Remember to click on the notification bell if you have not done so already. And I thank each and every one of you for watching and have a fantastic GTX 570 day.